Hello everyone, I hope you've had an amazing week or I guess few days since you probably saw my face last. So we're back with another favourites video, although this month we actually have basically all beauty products. I don't know what it is, but this month I just had a lot of things that I was either trying or I've finally kind of made up my mind about. So I've got some beauty products to share with you that I've been loving. I also have a fail. So I thought I'd pop that in here because it's been a product that I've been trying that I'm just not happy with and it's quite a cult favorite so I thought it would be really interesting to pop it in this video as well as well as a few products that I've used up so I thought I'd squeeze my current empties onto the end as well but before we jump into the rest of the video I did want to give a very big thank you to today's video sponsor Ana Luisa if you've been watching my content for a while you will have heard me talk about them before I am an Ana Luisa partner for 2021 and I'm very thrilled to be able to work with them again on another video they are a New York based sustainable jewelry brand that makes really beautiful like everyday pieces of jewelry made from good quality materials such as recycled gold and silver as well as lab grown diamonds and their prices start from 39 US dollars which considering the quality of the pieces and the materials used is very reasonable if you've been watching my recent vlogs you will have seen me wearing these little earrings the low medium earrings I absolutely love the size of them they also do make a slightly smaller version but I did love the slightly like oversized kind of sleeper look but they're also not such huge hoops that they like interfere with my violin when I'm playing which is really important to me with an earring so I love them for every day so these retail for 145 New Zealand dollars but you can get 10% off at the moment using my code I will have that linked at the top of the description for you as well and then the necklace that I'm wearing is the Rosa necklace and this I absolutely love it's got like a little crystal moon and star detailing on it and I actually love mixing this one with my sort of half moon crescent shaped necklace from the Cardi set. I showed that in my last favorites video. And that's actually something that I really love about Ana Luisa jewelry is that the pieces are very like mixable and work really nicely together and you can layer them for like different looks and it's just all very customizable. But as I say, you can get 10% off with my coupon. I'll have it here on the screen as well as at the top of the description. Thank you once again, Ana Luisa, for continuing to support my channel. And without further ado, let's carry on talking about some beauty favorites fails and empties. Let's start with a fail though. This could be fun. So as you know this year I've been trying to buy only cruelty free products and I've been trying to transition my collection over to cruelty free which meant that my favorite sunscreen the Can Make Mermaid Skin Gel I could no longer buy. That product is amazing. I'm a bit gutted but I've had a lot of people saying you've got to try this brand of sunscreen. There's been a lot of hype for it online recently so I was like okay I'll do it but I don't like it <laughs> or at least the one that I tried I really didn't like. It's the ultraviolet um, lean screen mineral mattifying fragrance free sunscreen. I'm sure many of you are gonna jump at me and be like it's just that one the other ones are great but the problem is there's there's not a good one in their lineup that works for me. The reason I decided to buy this version, is this is their only SPF 50 fragrance free option that they offer. The other fragrance free one, which is probably a better texture for my skin and my skin type, the clean screen I believe it's called, that one's only SPF 30, which I definitely need SPF 50 in the summer and we're like heading into spring or we're in spring at the moment going into summer here in New Zealand. So I really need something really strong which is why I decided to try this one which also had really good reviews online so I was like I'm sure it'll be great um, I'd watched a lot of people applying it it seemed to look beautiful but I just hate the texture of this it is so thick like imagine like the thickest gloopiest sunscreen you can imagine it's that but slightly tinted so it doesn't at least leave a white cast that's like the one thing about it that's nice it doesn't leave a white cast because they've put a tint in it which doesn't add coverage or show up on my very fair skin or anything it just means that you don't get a white cast which is cool so there are pros to this obviously um i just hate the way it feels you're rubbing it in and you're like oh it's like putting um a really thick like off paint on your face it's just not a nice texture to apply um, I also find that it makes my makeup not wear very well like it rubs off my nose in fact my makeup doesn't even go on very well it tends to sort of go patchy and, and really struggle to stick to my nose I also don't really like the packaging if I'm honest the whole like pump with a tube thing I just find it actually makes it quite difficult for the product to come out it tends to splurt really une unevenly um, so then you get sunscreen all over your bathroom. I am so not sold on this and I'm sure there will be some people that agree with me and I'm sure there'll be people that are like screaming at me through the camera saying you tried the wrong one because there are other two ones the, the queen screen and the supreme screen I worry a little bit about some of the ingredients oh that's very cool lighting 
I worry a little bit about um, some of the ingredients in those, whether they'll be too rich for my skin. I do have a normal to oily skin type and I can break out easily to very emollient products. And they both contain fragrance as well. So I just don't feel like there's a product in this line that I like, so I'm really disappointed. Wouldn't be repurchasing this one. But let's talk about two skincare products that I have been enjoying. So they're both from Paula's Choice. The first one is this moisturizer. It's the Water Infusing Electrolyte Moisturizer. And this, it says it's for all skin types. So I'd definitely say this is more for normal to oily skin. I think if you've got dry skin, I don't think it would be strong enough because it is a very lightweight kind of whipped moisturizer, but not as lightweight as like a gel cream. It's, it's like the perfect in between um, and therefore this is like a really great moisturizer for me at night time when I want something that's a bit of a step up from a gel cream but isn't as emollient or heavy as like a traditional night cream for people with like drier skin. It does use silicones which helps to create a bit of a barrier like an occlusive barrier and it's full of ceramides and there's lots of really good skin loving ingredients in this. It's fragrance free of course as all Paula's Choice products are and I sort of bought it on a whim when I was getting my 2% BHA liquid top up. I thought, oh yeah, I'll try that. And I really like it. It's actually nearly finished. Like I probably have about 20% left. So I'm going to have to repurchase it because I really, really, really love this. It's a beautiful product. The other product I've been loving from Paula's Choice has been their Resist Optimal Results Hydrating Cleanser. Now, this is actually for normal to dry skin, it says on it, because it is one of those kind of like lotion-y kind of cleansers where it doesn't foam at all. It almost feels like a moisturizer. In fact, if it wasn't labeled and you poured some out, you'd probably think it was a moisturizer. But it is designed to like remove makeup and impurities without stripping the skin barrier. So I really love it for that reason. I actually typically though use this more in the morning because at nighttime I have like more of a gel cleanser I use in the shower after removing my makeup. But this I just use in the mornings because I like something that isn't too stripping, um, very, very gentle. Okay, I wanted to talk about a few beauty tools that I've been loving recently. Some things that have really like change the game. So as you know for a long time I was very much into makeup sponges. I just used the Flower Beauty purple sponge like all the time. But in the last couple of months I kind of switched back to using brushes I think because I ran out of my sponges so I was like I'll just use a brush and then I kind of fell back in love with using them. And I recently picked up this little three brush face set from Guest Style. I have it linked below because I can't quite remember the brand name. It's not on the actual product, they're just plain. But these are really great brushes, very affordable for a set of three. Works out to be quite a good price for each you know, brush. And they're just really, really soft. They work beautifully with the products that I use, the Purito BB Cream and Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. And they're not too big as well. Like this little foundation brush is nice and small so you can really get in and around all the crevices. It's also tapered, so it makes it a bit easier for applying. So yeah, it comes with a foundation brush. It also comes with two concealer brushes. One is slightly bigger which and tapered. And this one is really nice for getting like inner corner sort of concealer work. Yeah, mainly under eye concealer. And then there's a wee tiny one as well, which again is slightly tapered. And this one's really nice for detailed spot concealing. I mean, I don't know if I would necessarily order these like on their own from Yes Style. I think once you're edge shipping, that might not be really worth it. But if you are already doing an order on Yes Style for some other things and you're in the market for some new face brushes, then I'd, I'd recommend chucking this in because I think it is such a great little set. Um, it's also just like nice and plain, black, you know, goes with everyone's decor. But I do have another brush that I've actually added back into my routine very recently. It's the Flower Beauty powder brush. Now I use this for bronzer and for the longest time I used it exclusively for like powder bronzer. It's really nice and big and fluffy and it just diffuses the product so beautifully. But as you know I've been using cream bronzers a lot lately and the particular cream bronzer I've been using, the Milk Makeup Stick, is to be honest a little bit dark for me and quite pigmented and I find it at times a bit hard to make it look natural with the denser kind of kabuki brushes that I was using. So on a whim the other day I thought why can't I try using this product with a big like powder brush <laughs> so I just kind of like stamped it on a wee bit and then applied it and it applied so seamlessly like the most natural looking cream bronzer I've ever done um, I couldn't believe I hadn't tried it earlier so if you have been struggling with a bronzer that is maybe a bit too dark or just a little bit too pigmented or you're just not nailing the application of a cream bronzer 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 um, then I definitely recommend pulling out your big fluffy bronzer brush or powder brush just kind of like stamp the brush into the product and then like just sort of pat it into my skin I don't do like big sweeping motions because I don't like to disturb the foundation that's under but it works really beautifully definitely give that a go let me know if it works for you a bit better 
And then the final makeup favorite that I wanted to talk about is a mascara. This one again is a little Yes Style product. And it was one that at first I wasn't so sure about. That's why I kind of had to sit on this for another month because I talked about some other products from the line last month. It's a mascara by the brand Fazio or Fazio, F-A-S-I-O. It's a brand on Yes Style and the packaging of this is so pretty. Gorgeous little millennial pink packaging with a lovely kind of ribbed texture. It's gorgeous. This is a brown mascara. Well, this is in the shade number two, which is brown. I'm sure they make a black, but I wasn't interested in trying that. This is a very, very warm brown mascara. If you're after something that is like totally unmissably brown, then this is for you. Because this is even more brown than the L'Oreal um, Sandalwood Wonder color that I love from the Lash Paradise line. It's very, very brown, which is why at first I was like, oh, Ooh, is this too brown for me? But I've discovered that I absolutely love this when I'm just literally only wearing mascara. So on the days where I've just got a base, brows, and I just want to put a little bit of color on my lashes, this is perfect. It's really flattering, but it doesn't work if I add any sort of like eyeliner or shadow, anything else. It tends to then look a little bit washed out. So I then tend to reach for my black mascara on those occasions like today, I've got eyeliner on and such. But if you're after just a very, very, very natural everyday mascara, this is beautiful. I will say that it's quite wet, the formula. I typically prefer a dry formula, but it does have a natural bristle brush, which I love. And the trick to getting it to kind of have enough volume, because I find sometimes wet mascaras like don't give me enough on my lashes, do one layer, do the other eye, and then let it sit for about a minute, and then go back and do another coat. And that second coat is just where things happen. <laughs> the first time I remember applying the first coat being like, ugh, it looks terrible. But, um, but once you get that second coat on, once it's dried a slight bit and it's got a wee bit tacky, it really starts to build volume up and I can get really beautiful lashes with it. So let's move on to a few products that I used up this month. So I thought I would do this because I'm not so keen to like, hold on to my trash for months at a time to do empties videos. I just feel like it's easier and kind of more current to just include my empty products at the end of favorites videos. It's kind of like a nice little monthly roundup. So this month I used up the Heroine Make Smooth Liquid Eyeliner in black. So this is a Japanese actually. It's a Japanese brand from Yes Style. Um, their liquid liner. I loved this. I would definitely repurchase this. In fact, I'm currently using a liquid liner from Benefit that I don't love. I've, I've had that in my collection for years. They're, they're not terrible, but they're just not my favorite. So once they are used up, I definitely repurchase these ones because they're really affordable on Yes Style. This one's also waterproof, which is such a win, especially if you get like teary eyes like I do all the time because I'm emotional. I also used up my number seven Airbrush Away Translucent Finishing Powder. This is one I've been trying to pan for like the longest time. There is technically still a little bit of product left, but it's basically getting to that point where it's impossible to get out. So I was just like, let's call it a day. You've done your dash with this one. And as I've talked about a few times with this product, if I could buy it in store here, like if I could just walk into the store and buy it, I definitely would repurchase it because it is fantastic. It's very lightweight, very finely milled. Um, and looks very undetectable on the skin. But you can't buy it here in New Zealand. I think the only place you can get this particular product is the UK. Like you can't even get it in the US. And I just don't know if I love it enough to bother going through like the faff of trying to order it from the UK somehow. There are other powders that I really like in New Zealand that I would repurchase. But if you're in the UK and you're looking for a great affordable drugstore, you know, finishing powder or even just setting powder, I find it sets your makeup really nicely. This one's great. And then I have two skincare products that I used up. The first is this Purido Derm HA3 serum. And this is the, this is basically their little hydrating serum. They sent me this along with a couple of their other products from this line to try. I don't know if I like this as much. It's fine, it was fine. It was perfectly good enough to use up, obviously. But do I like it as much as my Cosa X one or the ordinary hyaluronic acid serum? Definitely not. The texture of this one just wasn't as nice. It was much kind of, runnier but at the same time kind of gloopy i don't know it didn't really absorb very easily there was something about it that i just didn't love but as i say it wasn't bad it was just not as good as the other ones i think maybe if i hadn't tried the ordinary hyaluronic acid serum or the one from cos rx i might have really enjoyed this but i had the i had those very high standards to sort of compare it to and i didn't like it as much so i wouldn't go and purchase this one with my own money. And it's nothing against Purito because as you know, they make some of my favorite products like the BB cream. So it's just that particular product. I didn't warm to it. Um, and then I used up another one of these a Pure Lip Sleeping Packs in Milk and Honey. It's one of my favorite lip balms. Although a Pure is a very gray area Korean brand for like 
for their cruelty free status. It's not like they are definitely not cruelty free, but it's pretty hard to determine if they are. So it's a bit of a gray area. I would love to know if you've got a great dupe for this, if you've tried this and maybe tried other ones that are cruelty free, if you've got an alternative that you love, um, because this is definitely better than the like Care Now lip sleeping pack that I talked about. That one is cruelty free, but that's more of just like a daytime lip balm. It's what I'm wearing now. But at nighttime, I need something really thick and very like cocooning, something that will actually heal my lips overnight. And this product does. It's amazing. But I, I'm just trying to see if I can find something that's a bit more definitely cruelty free to recommend. So hit me up in the comments on that one. But that is it for all of my beauty faves, fails and empties. Did just want to mention one lifestyle favorite though before we go. Of course, this month has been kind of mad. And we bought a house, <laughs> which is nuts. So if you missed the last week of vlogs, um, yes, we purchased a house, which is so exciting. I will link the playlist below. Uh, it's called House Wars. It's a bit of a play on Star Wars. Yes, we had a lot of fun with those titles. So definitely check them out. It was such a roller coaster of a few days. Um, and I'm sorry for keeping the secret from you guys, but I just wanted to wait until like I had the videos all edited and you know put up and such. So we're moving in two weeks' time. It's all go very excited and just I want to say thank you so much for the love and support along the way as well you guys have been so lovely with kind messages about the whole like house hunting process and we could not feel more thrilled and more loved so thank you so much but that's it from me today don't forget to check out Anna Louisa as well I'll have their link right at the top of the description as well as a coupon code it will get 10% off anything on the site and until my next video I hope you guys have a wonderful few days and we'll talk soon bye